Alright, I'm ready. Let's go. When the world sees you can't, it seems impossible. In your mind, when every mountain surrounding you is insurmountable, don't forget to listen to the tiny voice. That's a dream, that's a purpose. Uh -huh. Tell you that you can't yeah, yeah, come on, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be told less. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be told less. 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 Welcome to today's amazing episode of Don't Less, Stay in the Curse, Motivational Talk Show by Ruth Ann Ogichiku and Nakwe. For the past few weeks, we've been talking about comfort zone. If you missed the previous episodes on comfort zone, please visit any of our social media handles displaying on your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Don't Less, Stay in the Curse. I like talking about God a lot about Jesus. Forgive me if you're not a Christian, but I'm not here to preach to you about my Jesus. I believe there are some people here or some people out there who might want to benefit from what I have to say. Now listen up please. Religion has crippled and rumpled a lot of dreams and potentials. <clears throat> Someone has got to tell you the hard truth now. Do not be a slave to religion, to church or whatever. Your comfort zone might be your church, your city or village, your clique of friends, your family, your pastor. It could be anything you are so safe and comfortable in that you don't want to get away from simply because you are scared, I mean so scared or bothered about what will be said about you or what will happen to you. You know, my, my comfort zone was my first profession as a medical laboratory scientist living in Abuja. Circumstances arose leading to my relocation to Lagos in pursuit of my dream and I began to experience a different kind of world from what I had been used to. Oh my god! You don't want to hear my Lagos hustle. It's another huge story for another day. But you know what? I firmly told myself there was no room for giving up until I've exhausted every strength within me and every opportunity to see in my dream come true. It hasn't been easy though, but I'm glad I made that decision. Listen up guys, God is not a magician. Come on! Getting your miracle or that big break from God deserves much more than going down on your knees and praying every now and then, no matter how long or how well you pray. The authority has already been given to us. It has already been given to you from creation. So it's high time you began to utilize it. Meaning that we all have the power to create things and do the impossible. But until you realize who you are, and the power you have inside of you. You are going to keep praying, fasting, and shouting hallelujah all day long with little or no result at all. Our faith is a motivating factor for God. When you are able to see the actualization of your dream in your mind, irrespective of all of the circumstances and difficulties surrounding you, you choose to keep believing and keep keeping on without giving up. There you are challenging God. Sometimes it can be very exhausting. Yeah. That's where being patient comes to play. Be patient with your dream and wear on a good attitude of being happy and grateful, even in pain. And before you know it, your dream will begin to materialize. Discovering and fighting for your dream isn't an easy task. I am not saying this to scare anyone, but to get you ready, to get you equipped, to get you fully equipped for the task ahead of you. Finally, there are three, three, 
three basic armors you need on this journey of getting out of your comfort zone and they are please listen attentively number one is tenaciousness tenaciousness it should be your eye you're seeing all of the impossibilities all of the negativity surrounding your dream but you choose to hold on no matter no matter what or how long it takes two dauntlessness come on come, come on dauntlessness dauntlessness should be your ears it should be your ears it should steer your nerves you hear all the failures of people past and present you hear all the discouragement all the insults even from family and friends you are abandoned and lonely but you choose to be dauntless to stay the curse to keep forging ahead no matter what it takes and the third armor is have faith and believe oh my god you've got to have faith and believe this should be your mindset and mentality what you have faith or believe in will eventually manifest in the open if you hold on tenaciously with an unwavering dauntlessness and that is it for comfort zone i hope you've learned a thing or two from comfort zone starting from the first week we started talking about it if you missed the previous episodes don't worry visit any of our social media handles to catch up and also please subscribe to our youtube channel don't let's stay in the curse you can always like and share your comments, your contributions, your questions, they're all acceptable in the comment section or DM. Baby, I'm gonna loud it again. Be dauntless going after your dream. You just gotta be dauntless. Uh-huh. Stay in the curse. Dauntless. Stay in the curse.